Now, welcome to your weekly devotional. Welcome to Proclaim 365. Hi everyone, welcome to Proclaim 365. In the book of Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, Without faith, it's impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. We live by faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. This word faith means to believe. We got to believe God in every situation, every challenge, every thing that comes to us and throws itself at us in the week, in our days, with, our, with the kids, with the finances, in the business, in our schools, wherever we're at, whatever people say to us, positive, negative, that keeps us in a place of faith, believing God. Things sometimes come at us in different ways. Good things come and they can distract us. Bad things come and that can distract us. But for us, we please God. And that's the first thing I want to talk about faith is that it pleases God. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So with faith, we please God. So the first thing is it pleases God. Does it please God because He's this He's this big autocratic uh, a God who wa wants and demands that you, you and I believe Him and trust Him? No, it pleases God because of the benefits it brings to us. I love the scripture in the book of Acts chapter 17, verse 28. It says, in Him we live and move and have our being. In Him, in Christ, we live and move and have our being. As we live our lives out, our lives of faith, in Him we live. It's us living life, living with all the challenges, with all the difficulties, with even some of the decisions and the choices that we need to make. In Him we live. I live in Him. He leads me. He guides me. His Spirit lives inside of me. He's the Good Shepherd. I live in Him and He lives in me. And uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, it says here that in Him we live. This word live means I have life in Him. My life is in Him. My next heartbeat is in Him. God wants me to be totally dependent on Him for my health, for my well-being. Bible says, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. In Him I live. That means my quality of life, my mental uh, place where am, am, I, am I strained? Am I in turmoil? Am I in confusion? Am I anxious? Am I in fear? Or am I a man in peace? Am I a person who enjoys knowing that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding guards my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. That means in Him I live. My life is in Him. I don't move from that and it's once again by faith. In Him I move. I am led by Him. I move only by His leading, by His guidance. And my very life depends on he, him showing me, leading me, and guiding me. And then it says, I have my being. I'm energized. I'm powered by the Holy Spirit by faith. The Bible says we have everything we need for life and godliness in Christ Jesus. So if I have everything I need, it means everything means everything. Anytime I have a need, and that is often most often and we need to be dependent on him god has called us to be a people who's dependent on him not dependent on ourselves not dependent on our own resources not dependent on our own uh, 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 limited knowledge but dependent on his thoughts because his thoughts are higher than our thoughts his ways are higher than our ways and so as i live my life dependent on him it says, in my life, I depend on Him. And it says, in Him, I have my being. I exist. I live. My quality of life 
everything I do think and say, everything I ever hope to be, every dream, every circumstance, everything in my life has everything to do with Him. You know, life offers us and throws things at us that we don't sometimes expect. Everybody expects the happily ever after. Everybody expects to have uh, uh, every need met. Everybody expects to always have a life with no pain uh, in our body or any situations in our families. But we all know that life's not like that. And that's why we need to believe God and know that in Him I live. In Him I move. In Him I have my being. As I believe God in and through these situations, He will bring me even through the the wrong choices we make. Sometimes we just take a wrong choice. We're distracted. We, we go down a path. But you know what? By His grace and His mercy, He brings us back. And we can continue to refocus on Him. Continue to believe Him. Continue to trust Him. And to enjoy the quality of life. Of a life filled with peace. A life filled with joy. Unspeakable and full of glory. Well, I want to encourage you that as you watch this devotional, you may need to watch it again and again so that God's Word can penetrate your soul. God's Word can penetrate your mind and your, and your heart so that you can live in Him, move in Him, and have your being in Him all by faith. The just, the righteous will live by faith.